Make way for the queen, excuse me, the king Kusi. That is the work of a king. That is the work of a winner. Iyanyi, Iyanyi, give it to them. Shake what your mama gave you. Is the cat's work for me, guys? Is the cat's work for me? And guys, just relax. Relax, you're going to see this her signature dance step. Hey, hey, this girl was showing us that her knees are solid. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, give it to them. Eh, eh, oh yeah, oh yeah, eh, eh, eh. I see they paint them. It is they sweet us. I see they sweet us. Oh my, they paint them. I see they paint them. Eh, it is sweet us. I see they sweet us. Oh my, they paint them. Yeah, ba. First runner up. If easy, run now. Can I got junior? Giggy, eh. Can I got junior? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zini, and I'm back again like I never left. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're joining me for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Now, please smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to be telling you all that happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to be showing you guys all that happened at the BB Titans winners launch. Oh, Shay, we had our winner and our first now present. I think it's still going on currently, but I'm going to show you some of the snippet she was asked some strategic questions and okay we saw a lot i mean coming from juicy g and even yvonne kind of got you know the first run up and even the winner kosi and yo let's go ahead okay so she was asked if she actually played tabang like if tabang was a game or whatever and here's the answer to that question <laughs> so um honestly ah uh, no i did not play tabang i feel like the feeling was mutual and um over time because we really had like deep conversations with Tabang. I don't know if you guys got that or Big Brown missed it. But like we really had a lot of like bonding sessions where we would just be talking. And it was hard not to like him. So I want to play him any, any, anyway. Before we continue keeping up with the BB Titan winner launch, see how Juicy J surprises girl Yvonne. I go love oh Gigi. Love you sweet though. <laughs> <laughs> what a man! What a what man! man. Wow, well, my phone is off! My phone is off! Blow me your phone! This is really beautiful guys. This is indeed a sight to behold. Wow. I feel this is the only ship that will sail after the house so despite the distance because mm, the way these two are so intentional about each other. Juicy J guys, after the whole um the whole final party and everything was over, Juicy literally surprised Yvonne with flowers and gifts. Guys, this is so beautiful. See how see how they are hugging each other passionately. They so missed each other. Eh? Love is good though hey now moving on to kosi at uh, the winners um launch pp titan she was asked about yemi and how she felt about yemi now here's the response she gave a lot of people have you know probably feel some type of way about me and yemi but i really did um like him and i felt like even though he wasn't like a perfect situation boyfriend i don't know yeah. but like um he really did uh, try to lift me up whenever I was having uh, those sad days. It's like, girl, you know, you got this, you're this, you're that. The day he left, I mean, I was a little dramatic, but I, I was really hurt because I was like, oh my goodness, I was one of, um, cause I, at that time I wasn't really out there with everyone, so he was a, one of the few people I could really talk to and I know I could trust his advice at times so when he left i was like oh my god i'm gonna be in this house the bunch of people don't like me uh so i'm gonna be here by myself and um i didn't want to talk to anyone i was like we can open the doors and i could leave now because i really thought it was going to be hard for me with all the housemates and how we didn't really get along or i didn't give them an opportunity to get to know me so yeah that time when yemi left it was tough for me now kosi was asked about her next move seeing that she has won the grand prize and that is no other amount than one hundred thousand dollars okay and here's what she had to say in response i mean um i've always said or hinted a little bit during the show that um i've been a journalist all my life but i feel like now it's time for me Whew, thank god i have 
100k as a startup, yeah? It's time for me to uh, focus on my charity. And I think there is a more perfect time than now because I'm here because of people. People voted me to be here. And I've always wanted to give back. So it makes sense for me to just focus on that. I mean, I know there are maybe other things because I mean, I was in the media, people expected to do things, but I, I just feel like if it comes, well, you know, let's go. But my primary focus, getting this money, is to see how I can make a difference. That's pretty awesome. Guys, Ibuka can be so hilarious. He literally asked her about her knees. Guys, remember um, we talked about Kosi's knees on this channel, how solid it is and how she would go down and, you know, come up, go down, come up all the time on Saturday um, parties. And she did the same thing literally on stage before she sat down, right? So Ibuka asked her about her knees and everything. And she mentioned the gym, that the gym is basically the reason of uh, her stability or whatever and then he actually you know told her to say hi to tabang and elisa mm, mm, mm. guys just watch the clips okay the entire continent wants to know very very important question what are those knees made of <laughs> because the coasting drop became the thing at the party but she goes i'm like what's happening and you did it again <laughs> well you know it's the gym what can i say tabang is here did you say hi to tabang yeah Smile. Yeah. Melissa is also here. <laughs> Kanaga Jr. was also asked about his relationship with Tati, what the next move is for him, like career wise, career pursuits. And of course, he said um his relationship with Tati is solely Tati is a very special person. And then he sold himself for the umpteenth time, guys. You know, Kanaga Jr. loves to sell himself. He talked about him being a creative being open for opportunities and all of that. Watch the clips. For one moment, you are Canada Junior. And next minute, you are... Relationship and shipping, you know? Um, you and Tati, man. Tell me tell me from your perspective how, how that formulated and how she that just walks in. Ah, she just walks in. What a movie. For Tati, she's, very, she's someone that is very special to me. And... I walked into the house, I was like one of the very first people I had conversations with uh, and then the way she carried herself and the way she spoke just drew me to her. Uh, we kept on talking and I got to know her better and I think that it was one person I was very comfortable with in the house, sharing things that I never told anyone in the house, it was definitely Tati, even when I was going through uh, my thingy, um, she was there for for me to help me out and stuff so yeah i think we just grow on each other and i appreciate what is going on between the both of us so yeah that's it <laughs> so future prospects i know you, you spoke about yourself being an entertainer being out there um what do you what do you have your your eyes dead set on actually oh, just by the way as you as you say that right mm -hmm. um this is Kong Wing. he's sitting right next to you so whatever future prospects you have Leaning, leaning, sir. Leaning, bro. Help me, sir. Um, Kanaga Junior is Kanaga Junior. Kanaga Junior is a creative director of fashion stylist, fashion enthusiast, fashion influencer, a model, an all round entertainer. I'm very, very open to opportunities, open doors. I am a bag of creative ideas and um i'm taking act my acting career to the next level acting in south africa and just um i'm not boxing myself obviously whatever comes to me i'll embrace it and i will show the world that truly canada junior is destined for greatness ladies and gentlemen canada junior Posty was also asked about her biggest regrets while she was in the house and yo she actually mentioned the truth or dare game i wonder what was it about the truth or dare game that she actually regrets i feel it's um the kiss with miracle i think that's the regrets or was it the kiss with yemi because i mean she was mad madly in love with yemi she was head over heels in love with yemi so I, I don't think she regretted it and then with black boy she's still cool with him so i think she was referring to miracle yo watch the clip first <laughs> talk about it but like um i really regretted that because i don't think i should have done it it was it had something to do with i mean uh, you can't just 
What's up? Ay, 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 ay. I regret it. I shouldn't have done that. I mean, it had something to do with them. Um... No. You have a hundred thousand dollars. It's a safe space. It's fine. No, 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 no. It was just like um, something I've never done before with a girl. So I was like, eh, maybe not. Yeah, but it was like a game, truth or day during that day. Yes, yeah, that I was like, maybe, maybe uh, people might forgive me for two guys, but <laughs> <laughs> Marvin even presented Kosi a gift guys and on the pack of the gifts was elephant written on it I wonder what's inside but anyways that's all I could cover from the BB Titans winners launch once again congratulations to Kosi for emerging the winner on the first season of the BB Titans and Kanaga Jr for emerging the first runner up if you know easy you know easy guys I'm gonna be dropping a clip of where uh, Marvin presented her the gifts but yeah that's all for this video please subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notification to be notified when i post a new video you know the vibes i'm sure you do see you in my next video with undiluted gist bye <laughs>